Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. You can find the link to download the zip file in the description below. You will find two folders. In start folder, you will find all files you need to follow this tutorial. In the end folder, you will find the final Dynamo script and all related files. Open the downloaded folder, go to start folder. I have already opened the sample project and the Dynamo file which is initially empty. The goal of this tutorial is to create a Dynamo script to place emergency lighting fixtures. We will place an emergency light on each side of selected doors. So it will look like this. Let me show you in 3D view. Remove these elements. Now I'm going to explain the algorithm we are going to follow. So we need to find these two points. We can start from extracting the door location. Using facing orientation property, we can find these two points. First, we will move door location point in facing orientation to locate this point, and also in opposite direction. So let's jump to Dynamo. We are going to collect only these doors, single doors. Mm. Double click, look for code block. Copy the name of this door. Look for family type by name. All elements of family type. Get location. And look for facing orientation. Look for reverse vector. Make a list of these two vectors. Transpose this list. Hit run. So now look for Geometry Translate. Look for Element Get Location Node. Connect here. So the distance. Let me show you so the distance will be the half of this wall width okay so to find where at which wall this door is located we can use element host make sure you have installed clockwork package 2.0 version Look for element type. Mm. 
look for get parameter by name and we are going to look for width value look for core block and multiply 0.5 connect here uh, run the dynamo so as you can see for each in this background dynamo view we can see for each door we have successfully created these two points now let's translate these points in z direction translate Again, we are going to look for this door height. So we will place our family 30 centimeters from the door. Look for again element type. You can just copy these two these three nodes now make sure you are selecting doors collector connect here look for height actually we are looking for this parameter this height parameter which is type parameter Hit roll. Now we are going to add an offset of 0 0.3 meters. Connect here. Connect here. Now let's just place our rabbit family. So in the last tutorial, we place this switch electrical switch automatically and this family was a point and level based family but this time we are going to use base based family just to show you dif a different object so look for family instance by face this node look for family types so i have already loaded a family called emergency light look for this connect here connect this node to location so now look for a node called element faces we are going to extract wall faces so look for this node output of this node element host connect here hit run okay I'm just going to hide the preview so we need to find from this list for each point a surface okay so you can use a node called as intersect so we are going to check this point 
from these lists of surfaces where it's intersecting and we will we will filter that face surface so this node works very slow so for this purpose i'm going to use a python code i have provided you just open this file and copy the code go back to dynamo look for python script double click select all and paste it inside save i'm just using the same node but inside python to make it little bit efficient because if you have a large model does intersect node can take more time so this is an efficient way save it close it so input 0 our points and input number 1 our surfaces hit run so make sure this is so fast python version just hide with preview look for surface so look for normal at parameter net here look for vector cross so the output of python node is going to here face input and the reference direction we are going to calculate okay connect here look for z axis reverse this we are good to go so hit hit run as you can see for each select indoor we have successfully placed the emergency lighting let me show you in 3d view it's working and select this rivet family so let's set this schedule level parameter this can help you later to use in Revit schedules so look for set parameter by name schedule level schedule level look for element level node make sure you have installed clockwork package 2.0 version this dwarf family collector connect here and connect here hit run so as you can see we have also set this shadow level parameter so now so for each selected door we have placed the lighting fixtures 